You guys, it is about 1.30 and I'm about to make my first smoothie of the day. And in here I have fresh cut pineapple that I, uh, well it's fresh and I cut it and freeze it so it doesn't go bad. And I'm going to put in some pineapple. So it's frozen so I have to like, you know. And I put it in this ice cream bucket so I can have a container to put it in. So I'm going to put everything you guys, I like eyeball and this is my Vitamix. So I like a lot of pineapple in mine. I feel like that's what helps lose weight. So I'm gonna put like that much pineapple. And today I'm only doing pineapple, strawberries, and kale. Of course, I always do kale in like all of my all of my smoothies. I'm gonna put I would say like two cups of strawberries. And my my Vitamix is about 64 ounces. So it's two cups of my 32 ounce cups. So that's probably I try to finish this whole thing. Um, throughout the day and I'm going to put the rest of kale and I put the kale in a mango bag because it helps like preserve it and I, I freeze my kale too so it doesn't go bad fast even though I do eat it every day I don't want it to like will to get moldy and then end up getting sick because I don't think I don't think I don't see that it's moldy and then at the top I'm going to put chia seeds and I always eyeball this too but for you guys today I am going to measure it out I have my measuring cups up here and this is a fourth of a cup so I'm going to put a fourth of a cup of chia seeds to help the thickness and chia seeds have a lot of benefits it has a lot of nice oils and it helps like get get you guys or get you full faster so that's what i like about it when it's wet it like expands blue stop and i'm going to do hemp seeds in about la yesterday i used like half of the bag but i'll put one fourth of a cup so you guys can see how much it is blue stop i'll feed you right now i can't open it because of my nails Oh, and you guys, I gave my kids um, some Ritz crackers, and I took one. Since I'm going to be honest, you guys, I'm going to tell you everything that I eat. Uh, One-fourth of a cup is a little too much, so about that full of it. And then I'll probably use the rest if I make another smoothie today. So, And then I'm going to put 32 ounces of water. Well, it's not fully 32 ounces, but... So that, I'm Mommy. going to blend it. Mommy. And here is my smoothie. It, I love the Vitamix because it leaves it so smooth and you get like all of the taste in one. So, bon appetit, we'll drink it right now. And my kids love my smoothies, just so you guys know. Since it mostly is fruity, it has a lot of benefits. And, yum, let's see. Hey, you guys, it's like 5.30. I'm eating this salad. It has um, ham, olives, a bunch of romaine lettuce, um, Italian uh, dressing from Olive Garden. It has green peppers, tomato. A little bit of cheese, and then I have some crackers right here, which I'm, I'm going to crunch them in and then only eat that much. And yes, my kids are playing right now. And then I'm going to have some water with this, and I'll see if I'll eat any more. I don't think I will because this is a pretty big salad, so I think this will be all that I eat for the rest of the day. And since it's five, so I don't eat late anyways. And I'm trying to make my husband some rice and beans and some chicken for when he comes home so he can have some protein. And he doesn't like vegetables. Well, he likes vegetables, but he doesn't like when I make them. But yeah, sorry for my mess. I always have to put clothes away, and I took a break, seeing that there's the kids' clothes over there. But yeah, this is my meal for right now. So it's pretty late right now, and around like 6 when my husband came home, um, I ate a ramen noodle, but the thing that I did differently was I put half of the noodles out because I don't really care for the noodles, and I like the juice a lot, so I gave the noodles to my kids, and then the bad thing is that I ate it with crackers. See, you guys, I'm not perfect. I do mess up sometimes but and then afterwards i felt guilty and i felt like why did i eat that i should have just drank the juice because my husband never drinks the juice of his ramen noodles like his sopa huevona and um so i was like why didn't i just drink his juice like the water not juice that's what we call it in spanish the juguito but and then oh yeah and i ate i barely ate that salad though to be honest i only ate a little bit of it and it still looked like it was like there was a lot left. So maybe that's why I turned into the ramen noodles. I don't know. I should have just ate the salad more. And then I wanted something sweet. So then I um, then I ate an apple. And right now I'm just drinking water. So I don't eat anything else for the day, for the night. And then we're going to go to sleep. Sleep is important, like I always say, for your health and your stress levels and everything like that. Even my kids are still awake. But all you know, kids, they have to go to sleep on their own, just like anybody else. And...
It's day three of the Delgada coffee, and I am wearing my waist center with this like plastic wrap at the bottom with castor oil. Since I'm doing the Delgada coffee, I want to also lose inches faster, like you know, with my so I don't get that little fall bulginess or whatever. And yeah, let's see what we eat today. Today's Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo, you guys. It makes me just want to embrace my culture and eat tacos. Ugh. Oh, and last night, like before I went to bed, I got really hungry. So then I ate like five um, almonds, dark chocolate covered. They kind of taste funky, but it helped the little void. So I didn't have to eat something like eat like a real meal and everything. Yeah, baby girl. You want jelly? Well, I guess they're hungry. You gotta go make some food. Hey, you guys. I am here with my suegra. And it's like 6.30. I'm eating a popsicle. And before we left home, I ate a salad and a quesadilla with pepper jack cheese. See, there she is. Uh, she just gave me something for Mother's Day. So I'm so excited. And look what we got her. Sorry for the pause of me eating my popsicle. Here at the dog park was blue. Oh, wild and free. <laughs> hey, you guys, right now I am drinking a smoothie. I put kale, pineapple, strawberries, um, hemp seeds, and chia seeds. Oh, and a little bit of blueberry. That's why it's a little dark. And today, um, I went on a little round with Blue, I was playing with a lot, with Blue in the dog park. And I missed yesterday, I didn't record, I was so busy, I was cleaning my rug. And I'm so happy, it's like, they said I need to go over it again. But, um, what I ate was, I drank co uh, the Delgada coffee in the morning, which I also drank it this morning, and today's day five. And yesterday I did the coffee, and then I didn't, um, eat something until like, three and I had made some carne asada with potato, rice, con gandules and um, inside it had er, and some beans on the side and I did eat tortillas. I'm being totally honest you guys this is what I eat um, and then later on in the day yesterday I just ate some of that again uh, and then I ate some ice cream with bananas some vanilla ice cream and then so yeah so now today I am in a smoothie and uh, <laughs> And I did the coffee and right now it is three o'clock for my smoothie. And let, let's see if I get hungry later on. Another thing I put as a tip on my group, don't eat when you are bored or out of habit. Eat when you're hungry. Cause if you eat like, some people are like, oh, five o'clock, it's, it's dinner time. You know what I'm saying? If you're not hungry, then don't eat. Which you probably are hungry if it's a habit, but like, but if you're not hungry and it comes to dinner time, don't eat until you're hungry. Like you can make something and then so you actually like, like pre pre prep your food so you don't go in like when you do get hungry so you don't eat unhealthy but yeah i'm trying to tell myself that right now because sometimes i do eat when i'm bored just to munch on stuff and i have to repeat it don't eat when out of habit don't eat out of habit only eat when you're hungry so yeah that's a tip for today look what he's telling me what what you say Hey you guys, today's Monday, the day after Mother's Day, and let me tell you something. I ate so much yesterday, I was like, it's cheat day. It's cheat day, I declared it. But today I'm... Today I'm getting back on track. Hey! Today I'm getting back on track with my Delgada coffee. And it's 3.56 and I'm about to make a smoothie. I've been busy around the house cleaning and I did a to-do list so I can actually so I can actually check off everything that I do. Yeah, making the kids help me do chores. She was helping me wipe some stuff down. She has stuff all over. She was coloring on herself. And <laughs> uh, I'm gonna make a smoothie and see what we're gonna eat later. 
I need to make my husband more protein stuff because he wants to build muscle. But I want him to build muscle all naturally. So none of that soy protein stuff. All right. I'll be recording later. Hey, you guys. So this is my smoothie. Oh, my goodness. It's so dark. My lighting sucks. Over here, I'm going to put... I put strawberries, ban two bananas, kale, pineapple, and now I'm putting half of a bag of hemp seeds. These ones you can get them at Walmart. Oh, that's good, puppy. And then I'm going to get chia seeds, and I always put my chia seeds in something like this. I usually have my hemp seeds in this container, but I have so little right now. So I'm going to just put some chia seeds to help with the texture and to help fill up my tummy. And then that's basically it. Sometimes I put extra stuff. Oh, and I'm putting 36 ounces or 32 ounces of water. Let's hope that's enough. And then we're going to blend in the Vimex. <laughs> I'm gonna put my smoothie in. Oh, it's so delicious. You guys, something funny. Um, my cousins came over from Chicago for Mother's Day, and um, my cousin's son, my nephew, he's like, I always see you posting that you drink smoothies on your Snapchat story, and oh, it look they look so girl. Well, it makes me want to throw up, but I want it. And I was just laughing. I was like, really? Makes you want to throw up, but you want it? But I'm like, my smoothies taste so good. Like, you guys don't even know. My kids love it, so that's a good, that's a good thing. So, smoothie tips here. Simple, and just put whatever fruit you want. But make sure your key ingredient to all the fruit is kale. Kale has so many benefits, you guys. Ooh. So, drink up. So today I drank my Delgada coffee in the morning and I was doing somebody's hair so I didn't get to record and then I ate like uh, one of those frozen burritos and now it's about 7.51. It's my first movie of the day. I just went to go work out with my friend Erica and I'm not really that hungry but um, I wanted to make a smoothie for when I do get hungry and I'm making a pizza for my husband so I want to eat a smoothie rather than eat pizza. If anything, I'll probably just eat like one slice of pizza just to get my craving away. And I try to cut my pizza small. I'm trying to cut this bag of hemp seeds but I can't open it because of my nails. But what I have here is kale, strawberries, um, some mixed frozen fruit. I think it's like peaches, strawberries, and mango. I have three bananas, which I freeze because they were starting to get a little bit um, uh, like spotty, you know, like, you know, when they're about to go bad or like too sweet. So I freeze them to preserve them. And then I have a bunch of pineapple, which I need to go get some more fruit from the store. And I have, I put 32 ounces of water. Right now I'm going to put chia, or chia seeds. I'm not going to put chia seeds in right now because I don't want those extra calories. Since I did go for a run. And I was going to put some tamarindo, but I want to put some hibiscus flowers. A little bit of this. I'm going to do a water. Which all you do for the water is you put like a cup of this in like a big gallon. I say a cup, that might be a little too much. Or I put like two cups because I like the flavor. And then uh, you just infuse it overnight. And I'm going to put a few of these just because I want a little bit. Oh, you guys, it smells so good. And for my smoothie. And I'll probably only drink like half of this tonight and have the rest for the morning. Which usually, if I make it at this time of night, my kids drink the other half in the morning for their breakfast. And they're starting to get in the habit of drinking smoothies in the morning. And you guys, just so you know, we don't really drink milk. The only one that really drinks milk is my husband. So a lot of this 
is um, like the kale and, I, and everything that I do, I always look up the benefits so that instead of having to drink milk, my kids get their calcium and their, um, their nutrients that milk has and other things. And actually this is more beneficial to you than milk. Milk is very mucousy. Milk has a lot of pus. And I could be wrong, but um, usually we're supposed to wean as humans, as animals. We're supposed to wean as animals. Animals, you know, in the kingdom, wean after like three years, let's say, um, after after birth. So why are humans the only ones that drink milk? And why do you wonder we keep getting sick? So yeah, I mean, I still drink things of milk. I still eat ice cream sometimes. I still eat cheese, but just milk in general, I took out so that we can find other things in it. And ready? Let's start. Blah. Okay, get your smoothie cup. <laughs> make a nice smoothie and watch it. If Elena, when she sees Make a with the smoothie, she's going to want her own cup. Because she usually has those here. The only one that doesn't drink smoothies in this house is my husband. I tried, but he keeps eating. You're going to be like, what? Oops, wrong way. Wrong way. All right, bone appetit. All right, so here I'm going to make hibiscus water. And here's the dried hibiscus. It's a flower. Uh, in Spanish, it's called agua de jamaica. And so I'm going to put like this is probably like a gallon i think it's like three quarts and i'm gonna put a cup of hibiscus leaves oops i made a big mess usually i put a lot but i'm just gonna put the rest of the bag since that's all i have and to sweeten it i am going to put this sweet tamarindo it's from my mom said it was like thailand or something i can't see where it's from here but it's the sweet kind it's not the the one the Mexican one that's sour. Ugh, so I made a big mess. And oh, I got my waist center on, you guys. Just went for a little workout. I wanted to show you guys this real quick. You guys, I love this tamarindo. Oh my goodness. You just open it like this. It has a hard shell on it. And it's probably dark. I should have put the lighting differently. But it's like this. And I'm just going to leave it like this with the little stems inside because it's not like I need to eat it. But. Nah. Take a bite. Mmm, so good. My kids love it. So I'm going to put that in there. I'm probably just going to put two to help it sweeten. These literally taste like the tamarindo candies from the store. Like the pelones. Because they're sweet, but then they're sour. You just need the spiciness to it. Alright. I'm just going to fill it up with water. Put it overnight. And mmm, bon appetit. Oh, and if it's a little too sour, I just add a little bit of agave to each cup. And let's see. Get motivated with me. So I hope you guys like my little vlog, my little eating vlog, healthy lifestyle, which you guys see the true me and how I eat and you guys, my hair is fading so bad. I'm going to get some stuff to do it tomorrow, but thank you so much for tuning in and I hope I helped you a little bit on your eating habits and the true ways of the way I eat and nobody's perfect as long as you try. You try. Get motivated with me. I love you guys. Bye. Subscribe. Comment down below for any questions. 